tree right there. It's just starting to fill in and get some leaves on it. It's in May. That tree is a black walnut tree and it is a pain in the neck. <laughs> This past fall, it uh, produced a lot of nuts, and that's when I realized that it's a black walnut tree. For those of you who are new to my channel, I rent my home where my garden is, so I'm not real familiar with the landscape or what, you know, what kind of trees are growing here. And so the this tree produces nuts heavily on alternate years. So I've been here, I guess, about four years now, and I just happened to notice a lot of black walnuts at the base of this tree over the fall. And that's kind of when I started thinking, uh-oh, that's a black walnut tree. I knew there were problems uh, with black walnut trees as far as vegetation and things are hard to grow uh, around a black walnut tree. And that's when I connected the dots and I realized all of the problems that I've been having in my garden from that tree that black walnut tree see how close it is to my this bed right here and um, you know uh, my long-term subscribers that I have had a fit over here in this little garden bed I'll show you it a little bit closer so this corner of my garden is the closest to that walnut tree and let's go take a quick walk and we are going to count off and see how close it is okay so starting at the trunk of the tree here I'm going to just walk it off okay so let's try it 1 2 34 and 35 so I can take 35 steps here it's probably going to be about 30 feet that tree the roots go out I have read they can extend about anywhere from 50 to 80 feet from the trunk so I have had a very difficult time growing anything in this bed and I feel I'm kind of embarrassed to actually admit it but I misdiagnosed the problem in this bed as what's called bacterial wilt because the symptoms of everything that I grew over here were almost identical to what you would see if you had a problem in your soil called bacterial wilt. All of my tomatoes died, peppers died, that is very typical of what you would see if you had bacterial wilt. So when I saw that tree over there, I knew what my problem was. And it's kind of nice to know, actually, just to know that I just have to be careful what I plant over here. I'm going to show you right now what's growing over here. And I have a lot of these plants growing in another garden that's not near the black walnut tree. And I can kind of compare um, the growth. Uh, the garlic is growing okay here, but it's growing much better over in my other garden, which I'll refer to as the river garden, okay? They were planted at the same time last fall, but the river garden garlic looks wonderful right now, and a lot of this right here is struggling. And my squashes have done well over here, and then last year I grew corn. It did great over here too. So you, there are vegetables that you can grow around a black walnut tree. I will show you a picture of the corn. and I'll show you some of the patty pan squash that I grew as well. Okay, so as far as herbs, um, these over here are garlic chives and they have done okay, but I think that if that black walnut tree was not there, these would have probably already taken over this bed. I'm just guessing. I mean, it spread just a tiny bit, but I think that it would have spread a lot more had it not been for that black walnut tree. And the reason why I say that is because I also have Greek oregano here, and I divided this Greek oregano about two years ago. I put um, some of it over at the river garden, and it is probably three times the size of this Greek oregano. So um, the black walnut tree has not killed it but I think it has slowed down the growth uh, which it has done a lot of things a lot of things it won't actually kill but the growth will completely stop it won't some things will not produce fruit or anything like that so this year I've planted a lot of melons and squashes over here and um, now I guess it was three years ago when I realized I had a problem with this bed I amended the soil and I planted out a huge herb garden well, I put curry over here, and I don't know, I put a lot of different things. Oregano and the chives. Um, sunflowers died, so a lot of things just did not make it. I could not figure out why everything was dying. Um, 
I just don't understand why the soil's not retaining more moisture down there. I've got it mulched and I had a pretty good amendment of soil in there. So I don't know. I'll have to give that a little more attention. The same thing's happening over here with the Golden Jubilee. It looks much worse than that one. So I'll have to get down here and water this today. The sage and the thyme seem to be doing okay down there underneath it. The flax is just not doing well at all. It looks like it might die on me. It's not producing the little blooms or anything anymore. And right down there is a rosemary. So the roots of that black walnut tree exude a substance, and I forgot the name of it, but I'll include the word on my video here. Um, but it will come out of the roots, which can extend anywhere from 50 to 80 feet from a black walnut tree. So I don't know exactly how far these roots are stretching, but obviously they're coming all the way over here to this bed. Put a tomato plant in this bed, and it will just die. It takes a few days, but uh, it will it will die once it starts to reach, reach a little bit of maturity over it goes <laughs> now it also occurred right over here in this bed right on the outside here so about right here lemongrass would not grow nor would tomato plants I'm going to include a list here for you of the things that I have personally grown that died or the growth was inhibited okay um, and I'll include a list also of what I grew very well over here. Please refer to the link in the description area if you are interested in other things that are not edibles that you want to grow near a black walnut tree or you want to make sure that you don't plant it near a black walnut tree. Okay? So the black walnut tree is found mostly in central and eastern U.S. Uh, it's different than, I think you call it the uh, English walnut tree. It's quite a bit different than that. So this is called a black walnut tree. Um, so look for one in your yard. If you ever have thought that you, maybe you have a brown thumb, it might not be you at all. It might be that you just have a black walnut tree growing close to your garden. And that might be what's killing or preventing a lot of your plants from growing. Okay, so I hope this tip helps you today. Thanks everybody for watching and have a beautiful day.